<laughs> hello, Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi. We're here, finally. Hello, hello. Yay. So, we've had a magnificent weekend in uh, the Netherlands and Germany. So it's. Uh, can everybody hear us, by the way? Oh, yeah. Can you guys hear us? That's Testing. most important. Testing. Check, 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 check. Tay, tay, coffee, tay, <laughs> tay. Yeah, they can hear us, I'm pretty sure. Yes, they say hello, hello, hello. Hello, yeah. hi, hi, hey. Oh, it's so good hey. to be here. Uh, cool. So yes, we're still morning, on a high. Tom. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All yes, right. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, dear thorns. How is everybody doing? I hope you all had just. Uh, um, uh, just as good of a weekend as we did um yeah it's been a uh, long travel uh and uh pretty tiring but uh yeah we've had a blast first we played in the mess breda with charlotte the final show of her club tour where we were special guest uh it was amazing and sora also did a collaboration song with her and go check that out by the way because it's an amazing song um yeah and then we headed over to leipzig germany and it was uh yeah a long travel but oh my god Com what a beautiful completely festival. worth it definitely yeah. Worth yeah. it yeah yeah so yeah we've had the uh, the best weekend ever you could say uh insert goofy image here um, <laughs> so yeah uh I, what did you guys do this weekend <laughs> so we are here to uh, answer some of your questions regarding our upcoming album, A Dark Euphony, which is set to release this fall. Uh, we're I massively... already see uh, one question about Ooh. my soul's demise. What's the question? If it's inspired by a sin eater. <laughs> it is, yeah, right? Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> and I first learned about a sin eater when uh, I watched the newest season of Outlander. They perform a ritual like that as well. So. I learned about it when we, we when we were recording the video clip. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. Yeah, that uh, you were spot on with the Sin Eater. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh yeah, I'm on live chat. Luckily, last time I was on top chat and uh, I was <laughs> behind yeah. like 30 minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, and I think we should mention that our pre-order campaign is only running for two more days <gasps> so uh yeah you have two more days to get your name in the album booklet and get a signed copy a signed and limited copy of our new album a dark euphony uh i will type uh, the link in the comments let me see and, and we have still our backdrop for sale <laughs> yeah, <Yes. we> do. <laughs> huge banner <laughs> So I really hope someone will get that one because that's just very cool to have. I don't have the money for it, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, it's it's a sick collector's item. That's for oh. sure. For a minute there, mm -hmm. I thought you were um, like trying to get on my nerves because I said, oh, I hope the backdrop doesn't sell because keeping it would <laughs> be also very <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> and losing it would probably make me cry, but... Well, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to see Rene cry, uh, just uh, buy yeah, it. If you want to see my cr me cry, just buy it. <laughs> I think uh, Danny has got a good point. Can you all introduce yourselves individually, please? I mean, not everyone knows who does what in the band, I suppose. I, I don't ah, know. Okay, yeah. Let's start uh, with Ruben. I play the keyboards. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, what else do we want to know? <laughs> and you drink a lot of wine. Well, one hour more than the other. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm currently live at uh, Schiphol Airport because I have to get home. Yes. So excuse the, the background noises uh, and everything. <laughs> it's going well so far. Perfect, yes, it is. Good. Uh, w what direction are we moving? Are we moving Robin. this direction? Robin, okay, let's go All there. Right. Oh, I'm Robin and I uh, play the guitar, rhythm guitar. Someone just said he wishes oh. uh, to have a Viking beard like <laughs> the guy in the left corner the, has. The pre-order link <laughs> doesn't work. Oh? Weird. What do you mean? Somebody said that and I checked it and... <laughs> For me it works. The thing, the one that I... 
How did you post it? Yeah, let's see what's wrong. I can't even see it anymore. So, oh here. So I will yeah, continue. Black, Black Briar music. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Black Briar dot com. Okay, I will. Uh... Black dot com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sora. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Losing us all that money. We mm -hmm. want a domain name, but uh, <laughs> it's a consultancy company in Australia. I found. <laughs> yeah, we offered them two euros for it, and they refused. Respectfully yeah. refused. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll I'll be the next one. My name yeah. is Rene. I am like uh, um, the drummer, and uh, yeah, I like doing that. So and I write a little bit of music. And next, ah. Sora. <laughs> oh me? Yeah. Uh, who oh, are yeah. you? Yeah, I am uh, Sora, <laughs> and I am the singer. Yeah. <gasps> okay. I'll, I'll go next then. Yeah. Uh, so I'm Bart. I think you can all see my name, right? But um, and I'm uh, the other guitar player. So that's it. Siebel. Yeah, I am Siebel, and I play bass guitar. And since last weekend, I now also play the upright electrical bass. Now live as well, and yeah, in uh, my soul's demise. You can hear it in the intro, and I think we. I think it's it's a good extra to have on stage in terms of looks and sound. So I'm very how things turned out, and I hope everybody uh, agrees on that as well. I'm not sure yet. I do. <laughs> I do agree. <laughs> we didn't have enough long stuff on stage yet, so we needed a very large upright bass as well. Yeah, we, yeah. we needed uh, <laughs> something high in the center. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> It is quite that's intimidating. That's already you and uh, you and Siba. I know Nothing. that's. <laughs> oh. It, it doesn't take long. Then you need like, what's the English word for Stelton? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's why we have risers. Stilts? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's Stilts. true. Yeah. <laughs> Stilts. <laughs> oh, st <laughs> so yeah, uh, like Sora said, our pre-order campaign is you know uh, reaching its end. Um, it's been a very good one. Uh, we're extremely grateful for all your support already. I know it's a bit different from uh, our original crowdfunding campaigns, which you are used to. Um, but you know, we try to keep everything very similar with having cool perks, having the option to have your name in the booklet of the CD. So you can basically uh, link yourself to this band and this release until eternity. So um, yeah the the support has been massive um yeah the only thing we can say right now is if, if you're still interested in uh, helping us out firstly and secondly you know making your name being eternalized in this booklet then you have like two more days and then it's that's it you know we uh we don't know what we'll do in the future but for this campaign um yeah final moments so on that note we're here to answer as much questions as we can in terms of the new album uh so if you have any for us feel free to uh yeah drop them in the chat and we'll see uh if we can answer well, them i already I just... collected a few all right then you go ahead guys so the evergreen and weeping tree is that inspired by the turn of the screw no <laughs> <laughs> Short one. <laughs> it's actually in, in not inspired by I made uh, it's a story I made up by myself <laughs> mm. yeah all right the next one I found is how was the process of making this album did you feel like it challenged you uh, creativity I think then for Renee for Zora <laughs> <laughs> I, I uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I was reading the chat and not listening. Oh. <laughs> oh. So the question was, how was the process of making the album, and did you feel like it challenged your uh, your creativity? Oh, it definitely challenged our creativity. I mean, we we kept writing the same way, but the inspiration was completely different. For Sora, obviously, new songs, new books that she read, and you know, so. Um, 
but yeah, mainly Yoast challenged us <laughs> because you know we we got there with the same type of music, and, and, and the last song was uh, a challenge. <laughs> yeah, with the writing process, it was because they were first two songs, yes. and then we tried to make it one song. <laughs> yeah, and that was. But it hard. worked out in the end, so <laughs> we did it. <laughs> we did it, yes. Yeah, and it, it came out great. Yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> which is now also my favorite song of the track, right? Yes. And not only mine. No. Not only mine. <laughs> <laughs> so that brings us to the next song, or the next question then. Next uh, song. <laughs> next song. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's your favorite song of the album? Yeah, we can already name it now because people yes. know the track titles. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, mine is Cicada for sure. Yeah. I like an un uh, unwelcome guest as well. Yeah, me too. Um, Cicada, yeah, yeah. I, I, I just love them all, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I also yeah, have a hard time choosing one, but I, I mean, I'm really connected to my soul's demise, I would say. Robin? Yeah, it's a hard one, but I think I feel the most for forever in a day. Mm. Yeah, I think I think I like uh, f far distant land in terms of songwriting <laughs> and the 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 overall feel of the song. But it's it's a different song from what you'd expect from us, so it might not be fair. Yeah. <laughs> um, but still, I like the way it turned out, and an unwelcome guest because it has. A little funny thingy somewhere and i like that part a lot so yeah <laughs> yeah when I, f when I first listened to the album uh <coughs> the final album the f i felt the most for far distant lands but it keeps on changing so <laughs> then then cicada was one of my favorites as well and yeah i love them all <laughs> but you said to me a few weeks ago i think yeah, spirit, spirit, spirit of, of forgetfulness, forgetfulness yeah yeah <laughs> so basically, almost all the songs are are our favorites. <laughs> yeah. And to be honest with you, this <laughs> album is uh, everything you'd expect from us and more. Plus, you know, uh, we did some cool new things, uh, explored new instruments, and it's going to be uh, a very, very cool album, if I say so myself. Uh, I'm looking very much forward to sharing this one. Wow. I see yeah. a lot of questions. Yeah. <laughs> Do you still have more, uh, Robin? Or yeah, I'm collecting them in the meanwhile. Oh, okay. uh, maybe I'm missing a few. So if you still find some, Wha which track ahead. is the heaviest? I uh, see. Which one is the heaviest? Ah, uh, it, it it really Bloody depends. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It, yeah, it, it, so. it might be the heaviest, but Bloody it's also one of snow. the slowest. But but yeah. it, it is the most bombastic song, I think. Yeah, I just wanted to say bombastic. Yeah. yeah. And, w and, and which oh, yeah. one is the heaviest then? I'd like say an unwelcome guest, especially <laughs> the the part uh, in the in the bridge, mm. you know, the, yeah. the breakdown. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Life that will be fun to maybe do some other stuff with that on bass with a very very thick string, which <laughs> might. Which maybe already says something, but uh, let's see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but next question. How hard was it to sing My Soul's Demise? Uh, yeah, the, the bridge was quite hard. <laughs> you have and, a nice uh, story about it, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, my first attempt was like, uh, uh, made people laugh a lot. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Mainly Yoast. Mainly Yoast. You're saying yeah. people, but <laughs> our lull of a producer. <laughs> <left> a <lot. laughs> so, but it, it was, uh, um, how do you say? Who said it up? Challenging. Challenging and experimental. Rewarding at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any books you have read that inspired you for any of the songs? Uh, yeah, well, for Crimson Faces, there was uh, Rebecca. And uh, the other? I think, uh, let me. <laughs> I think, yeah, one song is a little bit inspired by. Um... Uh, 
Um, I forgot the name. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? Okay, I will come back to it later. <laughs> That's do, okay. Do you remember the name? No, I don't. Yeah, there's a bookshelf okay. next okay. to Sora. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> That's what she's looking at. It has four <laughs> books, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Donald Duck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, question. Can I tell who the co-headliner is? Have been silent for months now. Well, no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> because mm -hmm. we That's haven't announced it. <laughs> <laughs> Would it's there ever be a day? Oh, sorry. Sorry to my Okay. Would there ever be a day when you add bagpipes to a song? Well, I played bagpipes quite oh, a few years. Never bring that on stage. And <laughs> I still have it, and I still have the kilt as well. Oh. oh. That's not what we're gonna do, or what, what we want to do. But <laughs> I really. You should want... at least wear the kilt on stage. Yeah. And, uh, with your spins, it will come up. <laughs> <laughs> no but it's funny because my dad just tonight told me like yeah we still have that bagpipe maybe we should sell it and i'm like always he, he said it a few times now and i'm always like no i want to keep hold on it for in case we ever want to do something with it that would be very cool well it's also black and red you know the the drones are with uh, red Celtic uh, signs on there, so it's very cool. Hmm. So we can do something with that. Originally, I actually had bagpipes in yeah. Selkie. But we changed really? it uh, yeah. with another instrument. But yeah. again, Joost was like, nah, we're not going <laughs> to use bagpipes. But I thought it sounded fucking amazing. <laughs> well, now we have to. Yeah. Now we have another to. song, maybe. I see yeah. another a good question as well. Uh, did having a record label now affect anything in the process of creating the new album? Uh, no, they 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 didn't. You know, they just let us be Black Briar, and just like we're letting them be Nuclear Blast. You know, uh, <laughs> we're the creators, and they trust uh, our judgment on the songwriting. You know, and and yeah. yeah, why why should they? Like you know, it's yeah, it's perfectly fine like this. Are you planning to make more music videos for any of the songs? <gasps> mm. 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 Maybe my favorite song? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> or not. Again, there's some questions that we can't answer. <laughs> there's some <laughs> questions that we won't answer. <laughs> Bloody footprints in the snow makes me think of wolves. Well, mm. yeah, you might be onto something there. Yeah, slightly different direction, but <laughs> <laughs> getting close, getting close. <laughs> Just wait and see. <laughs> there, uh, maybe I can give one tease, which would be the song would have something of a roar in it like a wolf <laughs> but i'm not gonna say how what who where <laughs> now everybody's gonna think they're screaming in it no there's no <laughs> screaming there's no grunting howling <laughs> uh, <woo>! maybe <laughs> did you have more questions robin <laughs> yeah what I'm base lost. do you have Siva? Thank you for answering. That always uh, touches my uh, bass gear nerd yes. heart. <laughs> so um, I play Dingwall, Dingwall basses mainly, but now with the electric upright bass, that's a NS design instrument. Anus so design? NS. N <laughs> NS. Oh, NS. <laughs> yeah. I really hope to get a uh, Dingwall endorsement in the future, but if we continue like we are now, then maybe that will happen. 
you know, Rob from Epica also played Dingwall basses, so it fits in r perfectly. True, true. Was there stress and confusion between you in creating the album? Like, if we had any stress? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Each and every song was extremely stressful. <laughs> uh, and we, we had to go to Yoast, for example, on Wednesday, and there would be no song on Saturday. Not nearly done. So, and then Sora got stuck writing, and then I got stuck making music on her uh, lyrics and, and vocals. Oh, man, it, it was terrible. But, but we managed in the end, and uh, everything fit perfectly. But... It was very stressful. <laughs> Which song has the happiest lyrics? Happy? Oh. Huh. Mm. Let me see. Have we finally wrote a happy song? Did Sora have anything to be happy about? <laughs> <laughs> mm. <coughs> like maybe Far Distant Land? Yeah, I, that, yeah. I, I'd say that's a happy song. Yeah. <laughs> Not everything is blood and gore. <laughs> <laughs> See, another question um, about the pre-order. When will it be shipped? Because someone placed his order and it hasn't been shipped yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh it, it won't be shipped for a while, actually. Uh, this album, um, you know, we started this pre-order and as mentioned, it will be released in the fall this year. So that gives us, us several months, but also the label needs several months to have this album distributed worldwide uh, to make sure all the assets are in order, you know, music videos, um, the artwork, blah, blah, blah. Everything needs to be uploaded and be in perfect shape, basically. Um, so... We expect this album, the CD, the vinyl, the T-shirts, everything to be shipped well before the release date. But people will probably receive it on or close to the re uh, release date. Which means it will be at least a couple of months. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Good thing is uh, though, it's already being manufactured as we yeah. speak. So well, like uh, the names. Yeah, we, be, we uh, are waiting for the pre-order campaign to be finished, yeah. and then we can collect all the names that uh, you know people who have pre-ordered the album through our pre-order campaign will get their names inside of the booklet of the limited editions, and we're waiting to be able to collect them. So on Friday we will collect them, and then all the artwork including your names, will be uh, sent to Nuclear Blast and they will send everything as one package to the manufacturers. Yeah. I see an, uh, another question. Which vibes can we find in We Make Mist? <laughs> this vibe. <laughs> 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 yeah. I would say... Uh, a little bit like ancient vibes. Yeah, a bit of mystery. Yeah. 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 <laughs> mystery. It, it's what it's it's a song with a very nice vibe to it, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And it's also quite bombastic. See, yeah, I'm, I'm still searching for questions, <laughs> but uh, I think we already had quite a few. Maybe, maybe the one from on. maybe the one from Kevin Russell. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. Guitar player in Texas here. Why do we think so many Nordic guitar players are amazing? Do you get a guitar at birth? <laughs> <laughs> That's a really, need... really cool compliment, though. But we, <laughs> we are, are Nordic. we are not are you Nordic, Nordic, right? <laughs> <laughs> you look like it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I have no <laughs> roots there, so uh, unfortunately. We're from the Nether Netherlands. Kind of Nordic. A little bit Nordic, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe descendants. Yeah. <laughs> but and thank you for I... the for the super chat, Kevin. 
Yeah, thank you. Yeah. 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 Well appreciated, Kevin. Yeah, worth mentioning. I, I think I know more guitar players from America than from Europe, actually, when I think about it. But that maybe that's just me. Mm. Well, that's just you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was <laughs> thinking very, very. So, okay. uh, <laughs> oh, okay. I was what song? Oh. oh, no, you go ahead. What song will break our hearts? <laughs> mm. I, f uh, I, I know for me what, which one it is, but no? for me too. But I don't know if I can. Uh, the one that at least it doesn't really break my heart, but it really it it touches me, you know. <laughs> and that's the, the evergreen and weeping tree. That is, yeah. I just love that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, forever a day also. Yeah, maybe? I would uh, also yeah. maybe forever in a day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they will hear why. How do you say yeah, love you in Dutch? Ik hou van jou. Yeah. But you can also say Ga ze even dood. Or or you can say William plucky calf. Another question. Do you have it in plan to release the oh the older albums on final also? I was honestly, I was being um, distracted by another super chat by Tom. Sorry. Can you repeat the questions? Thank you, Tom. <laughs> we'll get to you. <laughs> Do you plan uh, to uh, release the older albums on vinyl as well? I am actually working on maybe, hopefully, releasing the Cause of Shipwreck on vinyl. But it's something that I would like to discuss with our amazing label, obviously. Mm and it, maybe we can work something out there um it's you know with a new album coming up it's not a high priority for us um uh, we're fully invested fully focused on a dark euphony um so yeah maybe in the future but definitely not close to our uh, the release of our new album uh which oh no first like uh, tom Please try to link up with lead singer of Vadruna. Einar Selvik. <laughs> and make music would be out of this world. Yeah, that would be out oh, of yeah. this world. Mm. We saw Vadruna uh, two <laughs> years ago, maybe? Was no, it two like years? last year. Or was it last year? Yeah. Ah, it was amazing. They they have such a great show. and. Oh, actually, there's a song I wrote after we went to see Vadruna that inspired yeah. me a little bit. That's, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> mm. yeah. And that's on this album. Right. That's yes. on, on this album, okay. yes. <laughs> cool. Uh, oh, um, which one of the songs has the most intense and long guitar solo? I think my soul's demise. Yeah. 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 Well, and the, lo the the most the longest one is in the evergreen and and weeping mm -hmm. tree. Yeah. I think. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but the most intense, definitely my soul's yeah. demise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, T. Mirda, I think, thank you so much for your super chat. We really appreciate it, man. Yes, and Tom as well, of course. Yeah, yeah Tom, obviously, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I already thanked him. Okay. <laughs> uh, Stan has also just put out a super chat and he is saying for each member, tell us one artist or band you would like to make a collaboration <coughs> with, starting with Ruben. Oh, give me some time to think. Starting with Bart. Eyes not kills. <laughs> Eyes not kills. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Robin? Ooh, it's a hard one. It can be anything, anyone. Alter Bridge. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Siba? Uh, I'm thinking as well. So many bands. Uh, so many. Yes! Oh my god, that would be so cool. Okay, but next. I, I... Yeah. <laughs> Rude watering. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to do that. <laughs> okay. Me too. But um, uh, I really like Lorna Shore. Just because it's so heavy mm. but melodic at the same time and symphonic, which really just reminds me of Black Briar. Like, if we could do a Lorna Shore. Black Briar mm. collab, that would be so cool, really. Oh, yeah. 
It will be interesting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ruben, the did you came up, yeah. come up with something? Yeah, I wanted to do something totally different, so maybe Björk or something. Ooh. Because it's just a real, would be a real challenge, but also really in the same vibe. But like the mysterious kind of, I think that would be really interesting. I, yeah. I go with the Ruben. Yeah. And Kate Bush. You, you, you can just <laughs> be my outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Rene? Yeah, I, I, I kept, I keep thinking about maybe something realistic, but <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know. Uh, it's very hard. But yeah, like uh, Wadruna would be amazing, by the way. But I mean, if it would be a mashup between the two artists, then uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's very. I, I do like the Auto Bridge one because I'm a huge Miles Kennedy fan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I also like the used a lot, but mainly uh, Bird's vocals. But that would be amazing if he would want to sing on a Black Briar song one day, but oh, I said be realistic. <laughs> <laughs> I read some or the same question twice. How did we all meet for the first time? Oof. There's actually very similar stories between all these members of Black Briar. All but Bart. Because <laughs> Bart was actually at the start of this band uh, because he met Sora's father, they played guitar together, and Sora and myself were, you know, trying to establish a band. And then uh, uh, Sora's father told Bart, "Oh, maybe you can uh, try that once." And we did, and it was amazing. With a friend of Bart called also Rene, and shortly after with Frankie, our previous bass player. Um, then we started playing, and. Ruben was at one of our shows in uh, 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 near our home and you know we got to talk and Ruben had recently quit uh, revamp or they quit and I believe if you ever need keys or whatever call me and I will help you guys out with the songwriting and uh, right Ruben and then we uh, meet up Ruben helped us with Fracted Fairy Tales he did all the pianos on that EP very early Black Briar and then we just let it rest and we continued our path and when uh, we came to the second EP and started you know getting a very uh, cool offer to play for Epica uh, for the very uh, which was one of our biggest stages and one of our first shows we called Ruben do you want to play and then he came yeah rest is history you know Ruben has been with us ever since uh, yeah then our previous guitarist uh, left Blackbriar and we had already uh, met R Robin at a metal battle you know both our bands competed in a, a competition who was the best uh, metal band in our <laughs> local area uh, we didn't want win did you guys win I think you did right yeah apparently we did <laughs> we thought we didn't win but then we got off the stage we got a, like a paper all rolled up and uh, oh, yeah, that, was... that said what was the number the guy announced it so weird that we thought we lost. <laughs> so then we got off the stage, rolled that open, and then uh, we saw that we had won. But <laughs> it was a weird experience. And I was already talking to Robin, like, oh, maybe uh, if, if we ever lose a guitarist, maybe you want to join us. And, you know, it was <laughs> similar to that. And then when we did uh, split our uh, ways with Rene, I called uh, Robin, and he was literally a day later in the rehearsal room playing with us. So yeah, and then, you know, time passed a few years and then uh, we met Siebe at one of our shows. And in I Rede Kerk. In Rede Kerk, And I already knew Siebe from Facebook because I saw his videos and I was like, oh, that guy is fucking crazy and doing... But that was, that was I, uh, that I wanted to ask last weekend. How did you see those videos? Like, how did we meet up on Facebook? That's to me, that's a mystery. How you saw those videos, I have no idea. I, I, I don't know either, man. I, I, I just saw him pass my uh timeline basically, and and then I started following you because I liked the way you made the videos and the, the playthroughs. And and then, in you know, in the back of my mind, it was like, oh, maybe I need to get in touch with this guy. And then you showed up at one of our shows, yeah. And so I met Siba. And then, you know, Frank was thinking about leaving Blackbriar. And then I was talking to Siba, like, maybe Frank will leave. 
would you be interested in playing for us if he leaves? So we, you know, we, uh, uh, and then Frank decided to call it quits. I called Siba and uh, he played and again, rest is history. Nine days before that uh, uh, Netherlands run, nine days before, like mm -hmm. I had to learn like 75 minutes, three songs a day without a break. That was <laughs> insane, but so happy how it turned out. Yeah, well, you did a very good job back then and uh, it was good that you uh, joined right there and then because uh, yeah, now you're a part of this family and you know, it's uh, yeah, it's been a blast. Hopefully more yeah. to come. <laughs> yeah. A nuclear blast. Exactly. <laughs> uh, I'm very uh, guys, sorry. I have to point you, I, uh, I have yeah. to catch my flying and my laptop is also dying soon. So, um, yeah. I'll be there first. <laughs> Ruben, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for uh, joining us. Uh, everybody say bye to Ruben. Uh, yeah, I, flight, I hope you have a good flight, buddy. And uh, thanks for joining, man. Thanks. See you bye. soon. Bye. See you soon, buddy. See you soon. So See you next bye. Friday. Bye. <laughs> yeah. All right, next question. Uh, did we miss a lot of questions? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah I'm did. reading, I'm reading. <laughs> Uh-oh. Melina Campos says, Blackbriar, we need a collaboration with Africa, please. That, oh, yeah. that would be amazing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm -hmm. so I need to get my charger. Super chat from Nina as well. Thank you so much, Nina. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I see. Stan, oh, did you already oh, we missed a few. Stuff? Oh, no, we, we did that one. Thank you, Nina. So, yeah, um, I, I was wondering if anybody here already had maybe pre-ordered the CD or a vinyl maybe. This is our very first vinyl and we're extremely proud of it. Um, yeah, I do hope that uh, you guys like the, you know, the, the white marble thingy and the red marble thingy. Um, I ordered the red marble one. <laughs> 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 For a friend. No. <laughs> For a friend, that's For, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I see another super chat by Tom. Thank you, Tom. appreciate it. He says, is weed legal in the Netherlands? And do y'all smoke weed? Do y'all smoke? <laughs> 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 it's uh, not exactly legal. Um, it's, it's just weird, you know. Uh, yeah. I, th I thought it was legal. No, our government sort of tolerates it. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we don't all smoke. I do occasionally smoke, but not that often. Um, yeah. A few years ago, I smoked sometimes. I never do again. Me neither. Nope. I, th I think <laughs> I you know e e almost almost everybody then, but uh, uh, you know a lot of youth in the Netherlands growing up, you somehow, you know, try your first weed, whatever. Everybody has probably tried it, um, but yeah, it's not for everybody. They say, and um, it wasn't for me either. <laughs> no. Ah, I, I see. see Sorry. Yeah. I see another question. Will you go on a world tour anytime soon? Anytime soon, a world tour. It would be amazing, <laughs> but uh, I don't think anytime soon, I would say within the next uh, year, then uh, we can say no. We are, however, We're... maybe doing some other things, but a world tour? What, inspire what bands inspired you to start Blackbriar? Hailstorm, actually. Kate Berry. No. That, well, ha Hailstorm actually made us start uh, Blackbriar. Yeah, like actually uh, create a band. <laughs> yeah. After we saw uh, a live show from Hailstorm. Early Blackbriar days was actually quite similar to the you know the hard rock uh, Hailstorm sound. Oh yeah, I do. I remember there was a question way earlier about that whether Ready to Kill was the first song we ever wrote, but um no so there were other songs before ready to kill oh yeah, yeah. that haven't mm -hmm. been released the um, first yeah. song we ever wrote was called i like the taste <laughs> the taste being blood i don't know 
What, <laughs> what, what taste? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> it could be anything. <laughs> it could be anything. Let me think. What was the lyrics? Can I like the taste. Stop, stop. <laughs> da, 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 What's the, the chorus, you know? I don't know. I, I hear our other music okay. right now. Yeah, idea. Uh, who are Bart and Robin's favorite guitar players? Mm. Oh wow, there's so many. Um, I I I've always been a huge John Petrucci fan, um, so that would probably be my yeah my first one. Yeah, maybe it's same. No, I don't really have one guitarist I listen to a lot. Yeah, and good. one other, um, uh, Guthrie Govan. I don't know if you, you oh, know him, yeah. Yeah, but he's, he's brilliant. Yeah, yeah and it, uh, I did listen a lot to was Annie McKee, but that's an yeah, acoustic. acoustic uh, yeah, um, yeah, cool. Uh, I see Stan. Thank you so much for your super, super chat, buddy. Um, this question is very recent for me. Yeah. What was <laughs> the best food you had while Yesterday. being on tour? And it was actually wow. yesterday. Or for or me at least. No, like Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, yeah. Sunday, sorry. <laughs> and you know, we're from the Netherlands, so we uh, it's very typical here to eat basically when you uh, especially where we're from, from Drenthe, which is in the north, people eat a lot of potatoes, meat, and some vegetables. It's very simple and you smash everything together, all but the meat, but and then you know <laughs> that's typical Drenthe food. <laughs> but Sunday I had like uh, um, yeah there was like what was it um, couscous I think yeah, yeah yeah with some vegetables and meat oh my god yeah, stew is stew. yeah it was right? stew yeah. meat it was yeah. crazy you know a half of this band is is vegan or vegetarian and there's some meat eaters like myself uh, very little but when I do oh my god I can enjoy it very well and sunday was oh, perfect <laughs> you were completely in love you were non-stop yes. talking about it but i wasn't the, the only one who thought it was very good no well, yort was enjoying it very well the photographer so i haven't had any so it was all gone when i, 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 I only so. had the kush kush <laughs> I, I did we had other meat right but that was yeah, good yeah. as well i mean no no um, you didn't like it i liked it um, <laughs> we also yeah. had like gnocchi the yep. mashed, mashed potato balls. I always no say idea. gnocchi. <laughs> <laughs> it gnocchi. is a very funny word. I love it. But that was really good as well. Uh, a question for me. Who were your metal role models when you started? Well, like uh, we explained that we first started the band because of Hillstorm. So Lizzie? I guess that was Lizzie Hill for me then. Yeah. <laughs> and then it, it went a little bit towards uh, in this moment. What's her name again? Um, oh yeah, Maria Brink. Maria Brink. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> what were then the role models for you when you started playing? For who? Yeah, for any of you. Well, well, when I want. Yes. Next week we're gonna play on Into the Grave, and on the same day. Dragon Force is gonna play, and then I will walk to their backstage. I will just stalk them until they come out, because I'm gonna tell them that I'm there because of them. Because I started listening to metal because of Dragon Force, mm -hmm. at a very little age, because of my brother. So I'm gonna thank them, and I'm ho I really hope they're kind. <laughs> so. Never yeah. meet your heroes, they say, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, for me, it would be uh, uh, very boring, maybe. But, uh, you know, I grew up with uh, Slash. Ah, uh, yeah, to me, he's like uh, this legendary person. So, yeah, I could say um, a little bit of Guns N' Roses, I think. Mm. Slash, mainly. <laughs> yeah, for me, it, it starts it, well... I think I was 15 when I started playing guitar and um, and that was just by, I don't know, I just picked it up uh, at, at a friend's house. I didn't have any role models then, but it, 
uh, the first songs I learned were no effects songs, I think. <laughs> so that's how it started for me. Yeah, for me as well. Nice. Yeah, yeah that era like Blink 182 and yeah, yeah. Day and and Metallica as well. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite album among your albums and singles? Uh, the 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 new one. Yeah, the <laughs> new mm. one. I know it's a very political correct answer, but it's also the truth. You know, uh, as a band, hopefully, uh, hopefully everybody here agrees because you try to grow as an artist and a musician. So, uh, not just because they're new songs, but also because they're the best songs. I think, even though I do like, for example, every time I uh, listen to, <laughs> I want to say greedy D, but what's the Oh yeah, mortal remains. Mortal remains. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> that song used to be called Greedy Deed. But uh, every time I hear my uh, uh, my mortal remains, mortal remains, uh, I I just I think, oh man, it's it's such good songwriting. I don't know, I love that song, but I don't lo love the whole EP more than I do. Yeah, a dark uh, uni. And it's I I can't wait to play the new songs live, but for. Yeah. Yeah, um, the past few shows I really enjoyed the um, Deadly Diminuendo and um, uh, what comes after that in the set. Carry out the book or uh, no, it's the other way around. Lilith be gone. Yeah, Lilith. Yeah, <laughs> and Lilith, I, I just yeah. love those two songs to to, to perform them. That's yeah. Well, I yeah. do also enjoy performing Cry of Banshee again. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. It has some yeah, nice feels to it. But yeah. indeed, the new album uh, I also like best. It's like the songs are getting more intense and uh, yeah, more emotional. Yeah, yeah. Last uh, weekend uh, on Sunday, it, it was really my favorite live set. Uh, yeah, for me ever in this band, especially uh, Deadly Diminuendo as always. And now My Souls to Mice as, as well, like changing from the upright to normal bass guitar and Cry of a Banshee as well. I really love that song. Me too. So a question. When when did the guys first heard Sora singing? <laughs> when? Yeah. In general or this album or <laughs> in general. Uh, for yeah, me it was... that it, it was twelve uh, years ago, is it now? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> At a rehearsal, yeah. Uh, yeah, first when I when I first came to your house to um, yeah to, to, to just have a listen and yeah. For, when the, I for was the day, it's it's even uh, longer. Yeah, yeah. Sora and myself met at school, so we were both in the same uh, classroom uh, all day. <laughs> so I I heard it when we went to yeah high school for uh, high school um, college basically. So what would that be like? 16 years or something i don't know <laughs> and sora yeah I, I i i yeah and then we were forced to do a project together <laughs> yeah it was uh <laughs> even back then i knew there was something special <laughs> <laughs> nice for me it's pink yeah 2040 2015 during uh, one of those battles yeah and for me at that show in Riddekerk. <laughs> cool another question how do you go about ordering from the u.s well we have our own uh, store merchandise store it is also you can go to it to uh, pre-order.blackbriarmusic.com or store.blackbriarmusic.com and yeah we have our own web shop and we handle everything ourselves so we s from here we also send it to the u.s yeah so we actually you know we do all the um the wholesale stuff you know we purchase the t-shirts ourselves we pack them for you we send you a little note we add a nice sticker all of that shipping it it's all of us that do the work so yeah even the shipping label will have <coughs> a signature of one of these band members <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you can uh, so also if we're too late it's also because of because of us <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is the darkest song in the new album darkest mm. ah, my soul's demise my soul's would demise. probably be the darkest song yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Tom, you're you're so fucking nice, man. Thank you so much. Uh, another super chat. We appreciate it. Do you yeah. guys and gal listen to rap hip hop at all rappers from the Netherlands? A- at all rappers from the Netherlands or USA, maybe other genres of music besides rock and metal. He grew up on Eminem, 50 Cent. Dude, I grew up on Eminem, 50 Cent, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre. Oh, oh, People used to call me yeah. Dre, actually. <laughs> so yeah, I-, I was the one and I'm just going to come clean here. Hopefully the police won't show up, but I was the one burning all the Eminem CDs, the Snoop Dogg CDs and selling them for <laughs> five euros. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, Tom, I'm actually still a little bit involved in a uh, trap metal project. So I really love artists like Ghost, Main, Suicide Boys, uh, Scarlord, which is really cool live. You should definitely see him live if you get the chance. So yeah, we do like it. Yeah, well, when I was younger, I didn't listen to rap because it was all metal and rock. But uh, nowadays, I also listen a lot to uh, NF. He has a new album. Yeah, it's up daily. Hmm. Bart? Yeah, yeah, I I had my hip hop face when I was uh, I think about thirteen or something, and it was um, uh, a lot of Wu Tang Clan. Oh, I, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sora. Oh uh, yeah, uh, I had a, a little face as well when I was younger, but not really listening to it anymore. Brain power. <laughs> no. <laughs> I I went to see Brain Power. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here in us. I I yeah, see. Yeah. Uh, another question why are the uh why is the album art always in black and white uh well some because people think we can't afford colors <laughs> <laughs> right it's just our uh style i think yeah we did it from the start and i really <laughs> like it uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is when you see our album you know on a shelf somewhere it just stands out because of the high contrast, black and white. So when we did the first EP, black and white, uh, uh, you know, the Fractured Fairy Tales artwork, I was instantly hooked on the style. And, you know, we, we tried to work a little bit with the red and, uh, you know, it's just our style. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and when, when it works, I don't think you need to change anything. Plus, if you buy it, you can color it yourself if you're good at that. <laughs> do any of Another. you listen to high loom went to a show a uh, couple of months yeah. ago yeah oh cool. cool yeah i actually got corona because of the show <laughs> at least i like to think that <laughs> me too <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it was yeah. such a good show i was <laughs> feeling terrible I-, I already had corona probably because at the night itself i was already feeling very ill and we actually we were planning on going backstage and hanging out with them because they have the same booker as we do, a booking agency. Um, but I was feeling so sick and, you know, they had to tour. <laughs> so I was telling Robin and Sora because he was with us. Ah, we need to leave, man. I'm feeling very ill. <laughs> so, yeah, we did, unfortunately. But, you know, they and have... It, it was actually in the middle of my recording. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Also. Yes. The, ofi- the official vocal recordings of the album. And we had to stop it because I got sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you had to uh, postpone uh, one or two days. No, no, no a week. Two weeks or, yeah. or um, I think two a, weeks. A week after she was feeling better, we went back. So two yeah. weeks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, they have a great live show. It was like very mm-hmm. intense. I felt like everybody in that room was sharing a heartbeat, basically. Yeah. It is so. Yeah, crazy. You really need to yeah, see it's that. It's trance like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I wanna really want to see it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should. You it's should. Definitely something for you, yeah. I think we uh, we missed a lot of questions. Yeah, I'm trying <laughs> to. Uh, oh, any nice words for uh, you, Lai? <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. 
Oh, I see a super chat of Denise. Denise. Yes. <laughs> First of all, thank you so much for your <laughs> support and your super chat. Um, <laughs> she's asking if, you know, are you planning to marry Sora anytime soon? Well, for the people who don't know, Sora is my girlfriend, basically. We live together at least. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, we have a band together. We share passions. But um, uh, <laughs> marrying, where where do we find the time? You know, we're very busy at Blackbriar. Uh, everything is working perfectly. Who knows? Maybe someday. Or, n yeah, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Will you ever do behind this? Uh, uh, will you ever do behind the scene video of making an album? Ask Sunflower. That's funny. <laughs> we filmed everything from all the EPs, but every time, oh. you know, at the end, it's just boring. So we don't release any of the footage because it, it's not well thought out, basically. So we have all the footage also from a dark euphony. But uh, we forget about certain things. So we forget to talk into the camera and, you know, explain a little bit about what we're doing. So basically the only footage we end up with all the time is me playing the drums, Bart playing the guitar, you know, him playing bass, blah, blah, blah. And then it's just that. So we're contemplating on what we're going to do with the footage. Maybe it will be on a video someday, but yeah, we need to do better. <laughs> So you let me carry that camera and stand for nothing. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. The um, uh, Ragdoll says, do you guys have any tips for young musicians? Um, I always ask the question, do you want to be broke forever? <laughs> <laughs> or, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, I think you should just uh, enjoy playing um know that y there will always come a point where you sort of uh, level out you think you know this is the best i can be but never never give up because you will always uh, go to the next step um yeah yeah i think you just should enjoy it indeed when i started playing the guitar i think i played like 30 hours per week uh, did nothing else than playing the guitar yeah unfortunately you can't do that anymore but uh, yeah <laughs> there were awesome times <laughs> and don't forget get to uh, share your passion and emotions you feel while playing on stage because otherwise in all honesty you would just be boring to watch <laughs> and you just want to express your feelings so yeah be close to yourself in terms of expressing it yeah, while yeah you are playing yeah uh, and just playing with other people is always a good thing you know jam sessions whatever yeah, yeah yeah that's the biggest tip we can give like you will grow so much faster if you have others to play with you will yeah. learn from and develop something another super chat by tom <laughs> <laughs> thank you again buddy yeah. um sorry to disrupt chat so much i have a lot of questions <laughs> Is there a, maybe you should send an email? <laughs> yeah. Is there any way I can pre-order future albums without having a CD player? Um, wow. And I want to learn uh, to play the guitar, but I can't even tune it. Um, well, you know, I think many people don't own a CD player anymore. That do purchase the album, you know. Um, I don't know. But yeah, there's nothing that we can, you know, sort for you for future releases because we don't know what we'll do. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I can really answer the question. <laughs> no, there's a large chance that any album that will come out that will be at least be will be released on something physical. Oh, yeah. That you can buy and uh, get it signed. <clears throat> exactly. And otherwise, yeah, it's I, just a streaming, you know, Apple. The the question, how did you come up with the band name? I've seen that a couple of times, and I don't. Yeah, Sora knows that best. Yeah, yeah, I don't. It's it's a very boring story, I think, <laughs> but I can't even remember it anymore. <laughs> Maybe you can try to make it as short as possible. Uh, I 
just made a list. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> of of all possible names, and the first uh, option was Fractured Fairy Tales, and then we found out that there was already a band uh, named like that. So yeah. we, so we named our first EP. Uh, Fractured, Fractured Fairy Tales EP. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but how? Do, yeah, I don't know. I ju I think I just. I, I'm pretty sure there was a list. And yes. we were standing in our first rehearsal room uh, outside of it with the whole band. And, you know, everybody had their say. But eventually it was like, yeah, Black Briar, you know, it meant something to us. A black wild rose or a rose bush, whatever. And yeah, yeah we something dark and beautiful at the same time. Exactly. Exactly. We th thought it was fitting to our music. Yeah. yeah, and I'm so glad we did choose that name because it's uh, yeah I, I still like our band name very much, and it you know it's still very uh, relevant to our music as well because you know Sora sometimes writes about flowers or whatever, but yeah I think it it represents everything that we do still this band name. Uh, Brom is asking, will you ever release your music at a very high quality? title supports 24 bit um i think everything that we have is already at that um resolution basically spotify obviously does not support uh that resolution but um, if you buy the vinyl for example it will have that resolution and i think isn't it apple that has like this new thing with a very high resolution as well and uh, the new album will also be delivered in that resolution. So, yes, in that terms, yes. I <laughs> see a very, very, very funny Denise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to now. <laughs> yes, but if I do it now, I'll mess it up because I'm nervous. Well, Dan, do it, do it. it. But do I, it. It I, I whispered it in her ear the other night. Oh, that sounds very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, what? Yeah. Like after a show. <laughs> so well, she knows. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> yeah. Did you do it right uh, back then? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I think so. Well, do it now do then. Again, yeah. I no, want to hear it. No. It's, it's too much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> but she paid. Uh, uh, will you ever release sheet music for piano for any of your songs? I would love to learn your songs. Uh, Bart is always, you know, working on the guitar tabs and we have in the past uh, made them available. Um, are we doing that for this campaign as well? I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah sure. we are, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know about the keys though. We'd, we'd have to ask uh, Ruben, I think. Exactly. But for yeah. the keys, Ruben will maybe want to do that for you. Uh, I would su suggest just maybe reaching out to him on social media <laughs> because I don't know if we'll, you know, officially make it available, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I always um, um, put them on paper, you know, just to, to have as a reference and, and stuff. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Um, we're nearing the end of this stream, everybody. So it's uh, it's been a real pleasure. If you have any more questions, make sure to drop them in the chat right now. Uh, we will try to do our best to have everything uh, answered. Um, yeah, and again, we're here to celebrate basically uh, our new release coming up. So if you haven't checked out our pre-order campaign already, please do so. Um, you can find the pre-order campaign at preorder.blackbriarmusic.com <laughs> and um, I must say that uh, again we're very appreciative of all of your support already um, yeah if you don't have you, you can own our very first final I mean how cool is that I'm looking very much forward to that as well I see Denise is again yeah, yeah. forcing <laughs> Sora basically no 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 she's now uh, <laughs> saying that she loved my uh, comment <laughs> oh, so you got out of that one. Oh. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> I still don't know how you pronounce it though. No. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if she ends up saying it when this live stream is already closed, 
I will sample the audio <laughs> and put it on <laughs> our new TikTok. Like <laughs> on repeat and everything, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, uh, yeah. That's we, basically. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I, I just wanted yeah. to mention one more time that you can eternalize your name with our band in the pre-order campaign. If you pre-order now, your name will actually be in the CD booklet, which is awesome. And uh, at least I, uh, I think it's awesome. And uh, yeah, <laughs> make of that what you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we will say our goodbye goodbyes. then. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. Yeah. For joining this live stream. <laughs> Definitely. That's yeah. been fun. It has yeah. been yeah. amazing. Yeah. Cool questions. Thanks for that. Please. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Ops is questions. asking, can I pre-order vinyl? Yes, you can, but uh, it's in the campaign. I, I really uh, suggest you take a look at the link I just shared. Uh, maybe there's something else that's cool that you would like to have, but you can pre-order a vinyl. The white marble thingy is very, it, it, it's been close to selling out, but uh, we'll, I don't know the exact numbers at this point, but you can be quick and then maybe still own a white one or it's already sold out and then it's just a red one. But uh, yeah, again, everybody, thank you so much for being here and uh, have a great evening and a great week. Yes. And we, we might have a, a, a little surprise uh, coming in June. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we might yeah. have it. Yeah. Everybody, thank you so much. Have a great yeah, evening. Love you guys. Yes. Bye. Good Bye. night. Good night, everybody. Time. See you next Good time. Good night. Bye-bye.